There were a lot of new cool features that rolled out at Ignite last week, but we're going to talk about one for Power Automate. And that's what we're finding here now. You describe it, AI builds it. Now, Microsoft describes this amazing functionality as magic, which is what it sounds like. Transform your words into a cloud flow like magic. Now, note, this is a preview item, which means it's going to change often. But let's run through an example here and see how easy or difficult it is for us to build a flow with magic. So I'm going to be honest, the first thing I try here is when my form is submitted, move the file to SharePoint because I've written this flow and it's cumbersome. And unfortunately, the very first thing that I've discovered is that this functionality right now, which is probably somewhere in the documentation, which I didn't read yet, sorry, um, is that these are just Microsoft connectors. So anything you're looking for that isn't a first party connector, I'm going to hazard a guess is not going to work yet with this functionality. So for trial number two, let's play nice. Let's stay within the confines of the Microsoft first party apps. In fact, we can even use one of the suge suggestions. So here are some suggestions right at the bottom. I can use this cool little button here to generate new examples and it'll show me some other things that I can do. Um, so let's do send me a message to Teams when I receive an email. That's a pretty useful flow, and I am interested to see what this is. So our suggested flow is using a trigger from Outlook when a new email arrives, and an action in Teams, post a message in a team chat or channel. Now I'm curious what happens if we click this is not what I want. All right, so then it lets us know, here we go, the preview feature works best with Microsoft 365 apps and Microsoft Teams, and then we can check out examples. So let's go back to our suggestions. Um, we'll stick with this and click next and see what happens. I'm pretty excited. This is my first time seeing this. So visualization right away on the right hand side are trigger and the actions. It's authenticating both of those connectors and then we're just gonna go through and do our wizard. We're gonna post it as the Flowbot because the Flowbot's awesome. And uh, let's start to check this out. So I'll do this just to myself. And we'll say new email from, um, I have no idea how to do personalized content from this. This is fun when you just kind of dive in and try doing it and see if you can figure it out. So we've got color picker, we've got some good formatting stuff here, um, but nothing yet. So let's just click create flow. I have a feeling we'll be able to draw that dynamic content from our trigger in the next section when the magic happens. All right, here we are. Okay, this is pretty slick. That took like seconds. Flow created, use as is or customize it. So our email comes in and then we post it to the chat bot. So my message didn't come over, which is interesting. So that text didn't make it. And then um, we can kind of zoom in a bit here and check out some of the information we have. So from, um, from message, and then we'll throw in the body. Pretty cool stuff. Well, that looks simple enough. And then, like all your other flows that you're testing, we're going to save, flow checker, and then test. All right, friends, we're going to try one more example here. And what I'd like to do is test one of these flows with multiple actions. So let's use one that's here. So when I'm at mentioned in an Outlook email, send me a Teams message push notification, oops, and uh, move it to SharePoint. Let's see what happens when we try to add three actions to one trigger. Oh, it worked. This is exciting. Are you excited? I'm excited. Let's see what we've got here. Our trigger, when a new email mentions me arrives, then I'm gonna get my profile, then I'm gonna post a message in the channel, I'm gonna send an email notification and move a file. Oh my gosh, isn't this exciting? I'm excited. So let's see what we've got here as we continue to move forward. Flowbot, of course. New email, all right, message. Well, it's me, right? And we're going to do a Teams message, new email, whoops, I'm typing too fast. New email, notification check. You were mentioned in an email 
And then we're going to do uh, some SharePoint info. So let me get to the correct one, which I'm going to blur for you because this is my actual SharePoint. And we don't need you all hacking my teams, you know. SharePoint file to move. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. SharePoint destination address. So let's pick a destination and then a SharePoint destination folder. You know what, I'm gonna come through and configure some of this on the flow side, but let's see if this gets us the base. Just click create flow, and then here comes our flow with all that information that we did. And oh my gosh, this is cool. Look how quickly we did that, less than two minutes from soup to nuts. Now there's more to do, right? We have to do some additional configuration and pull in some dynamic content from prior steps, but wow, is this a time saver. Two thumbs up, excited to see what this can continue to iterate to as we start to add some third-party connectors or things outside of Microsoft first party. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this um, and if you've made any cool flows that you wanna share.